We are live for the Power Chat series, the Carolina Martial Arts Open Post Show. Here with me is special guest Terry Floyd. Terry, how are you doing today? Good. How are you doing? Good. I'm glad to have you on the show. We're here to talk about the ins and outs of the tournament as well as how you did. So right from there, how did you uh, perform at the Carolina Martial Arts Open? Uh, I did pretty good. You know, uh, I won the executive overall grants. Um, I probably had six, six fights, I think, mm -hmm. you know, total. So it was, it was pretty good. That's a good, that's a fair amount of fights, uh, for the executive division, as well as a regional event. What about did your wife and I know justice has been killing it on the circuit right now. Did they compete? My, my wife, actually, she didn't compete, uh, because she got a, a knee injury, uh, a little while back in Florida, so she's trying to recuperate from that. Um, hopefully, you know she'll be ready for the battle coming up in two weeks. Uh, Justice, he also competed, um, and he won the uh, fight in eighteen plus grands. Also, you he's know, been and really well this this season, I've seen. Yes, yes, ma'am. He's uh, he's been he's been training hard. You know, he's he steps outside his you know his comfort box, you know comfort zone basically, and. Uh, like this past tournament, you know, he he done, you know, the bow, you know, he's done commas, you know, he, he always does traditionals and he does musical and stuff like that. Then he fought in open rank, open weight, uh, and his division also, yeah. All right, and the, did you have other students there? Yeah, yeah. My also my um my youngest two children they they competed also. Emma uh made it to the to the grands uh. She came up short in the grands uh, with her musical weapon. My eight-year-old son, he won the nine and under overall grands uh, and with his musical weapon. Uh, so that's kind of cool that me and both my sons won grands, you know, all three of us. Me and Justice has won this tournament uh, probably five years ago. Me and Justice won it together, you know, uh, and then uh, – which I didn't, I didn't really plan on competing in this tournament. I kind of decided Thursday night that I was going to compete with it. You know, mm -hmm. uh, I, don't, I don't get too much of a chance, you know, to do a lot of uh, training with the teaching and stuff. And because of how big our competition team is, you know, we're trying to push these guys, you know. So we took 60, you know, to the tournament, you know. Six, and, uh, six how many? 60. 60 wow, I had, to, I had to double take that. Six, zero. Yeah, on the on the TCT circuit, my, my my actual competition team is uh 65, uh, but I had a few that couldn't make it, um, personal reasons and stuff like that. But still, I mean, 60 is a it's it's a lot of work. I ain't gonna lie. Were you running around like a chicken without its head? Oh my god, it was crazy. And I'm not even gonna lie, it was, it's crazy. It really is, you know, because everybody wants you know, you know, coach here, coach here, coach here. You know, it don't normally get crazy crazy until it's a fight you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. and now this year tct is also doing like the open rank and open weight you know so uh so if you're black belts you got three fighting divisions and under belts you got two fighting divisions you know so there's a lot a lot going on you know so uh, this tournament was you know pretty big also i think the pre-registration was over 400 pre-registered you know so it's, it was a good size tournament yeah. I remember, yeah, I've been to the Carolina Martial Arts Open because I went to school in North Carolina, um, yeah. and I remember the event. Uh, there, it, even, what, four years ago, it was packed, and so I can only imagine it's grown. Talking oh, yeah. more about the tournament, how was it run given the amount of people? Uh, it was run, of course, Brian Penn always always runs a good tournament. You know, he, he pours his heart and soul into, you know, the, the quality part of it, you know. Um, that Friday night, because they're still trying to work the bugs out of it, you know, with, with so many people doing the open rank and open weight and stuff like that. So they're trying to put a lot of it on the Friday night. So Friday night was a, a late night, you know, uh, and then we had to be right back up Saturday morning to do it again, you know. Um, but, but my team, they, they kind of, I mean, my team didn't mind it, you know. I mean, if you're in it, you're in it, you know what I mean? So, uh no excuses made or anything like that. Everybody was, you know, okay, you know, maybe a little tired Saturday morning and stuff, you know, but I mean, everybody pushes through, you know, but as far as the quality of the tournament, oh, it's always top notch. 
Great. Okay. And what is your kind of mentality post tournament? I know things like, or people like Jesse Ray has that 24 hour rule where, you know, you get 24 hours and then you're right back to the mat. Do you give your guys a little bit more time to, to get back into it? What's your philosophy as a coach? Pretty much. It's pretty much the same thing. I think that when you're on, when you do a lot of the NASCAR tournaments and stuff like that, you know, um, you'll get kind of that mindset because you hear Jesse and them say it. You hear, you know, Mr. Plowden and them saying it all the time, you know, win or lose, he's got that 24 hour rule, you know, so, and normally that 24 hour rule is on a Sunday when you're going home, you mm-hmm. know, so, uh, but it, it's back to ground in Monday, you know, everything is, it's like last week, it never happened, right. you know, so, um, we don't kind of like, you know, dwell on it, you know, or anything and celebrate it, you know, uh, I'm really big on my students, you know, being, you know, uh, humble you know i want them acting the same when they win i want them acting the same when they lose you know i'm actually drilling that in my youngest son right now because you know he's he likes winning but he hates losing you know so and you can tell you can tell kind of that attitude change depending on the outcome oh yeah yes i know it's always his best and it's always his best friend that's giving him his competition Mm -hmm. you know so it's yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you know, you've seen Justice go up. Now you have your two youngest. And it's kind of, are you finding that at all the younger generation has different lessons that you're having to teach, or are they the same? Uh, I, I, I keep my same morals, you know, with my kids. I think as I, got, I, I get older, with my youngest two, I think I let more slide than what I did with my my first oldest two. You know what I mean? So, uh, like Justice says all the time, you know, I let them get away with murder. You know what <laughs> I mean? So, um, but as far as I, I mean, I know I have great children and stuff like that. You know, but um, I, I don't. I ain't. Gonna, I wouldn't change anything. You know, because I mean, I, I love the way they. You know how they are and everything. You know, but. Uh, Definitely got to fine tune stuff now, you know, as they're getting older, you know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. I, I remind my students all the time, people, rem- they remember you for your bad, you know, way before they remember you for your good. Yeah. You know. I was just talking with some of the young competitors yesterday from the Destin Open, and they were both so humble, Zeke Gomez and Greenlee Connolly. Um, and it's just kind of like the good that you see in the sport and the positive attitude, because you're right. You definitely notice those competitors that are stomping their feet afterwards or, or blaming it on the judges. Um, and so I do see that even, um, in the live streams, I'm able to see kind of good sportsmanship versus bad sportsmanship for sure. Now, how, for anybody watching, any coaches watching or school owners watching, um, if you had to speak to them on how you created such a large competition mentality, uh, how, how did you instill that in your team? I'm just competitive myself. I guess you know, the tree grows from the root. You know, it don't grow from the top of the tree. You know, so I'm competitive. I, I, they're competitive with each other, but I want it to be in a good way. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Uh, but I, my, my father's always kind of, you know, instilled in me, you know, if you're going to go to practice, you might as well get in the game, you know, mm-hmm. and, 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 you know, that's why I kind of named my school, you know, Floyd Sport Karate, you know what I mean? Because I want to do the sport part of it, you know. Uh, of course, I love the martial arts, you know, and, and the discipline that it teaches, you know, I want, so I definitely want to keep that value there, you know, and I, I hold all my students accountable, like every – Everyone down to the white belt with one strike. Every student is held accountable. So I, I kind of instill them, you know, kind of like a like a child or, or a puppy or anything. A white belt is the same thing as a puppy, you know. So you, you instill that competitiveness. But when they're white belts, you have to make it a little bit more fun. You know, you have to build their confidence. You know, I ain't gonna say cupcake it. You know what I mean? Because you still have to be real with them. I ain't trying to give them false hope to go out there and you know, get crushed, you know, and then never want to do it again, you know, but in the same time, uh, like this past weekend, I actually had a white belt, her first, her first tournament, and she's a white belt with two stripes, you know, um, this was her first tournament, she's only been training with me, you know, a few months, and she, she plays second, you know, 
in her fighting division, in the eight-year-old fighting division, you know, and she was horrified. I had to give her a, a was it Wednesday last week? I had to give her a, a pep talk because the grandma was saying, you know, she's, you know, I've already registered her, but now she's wanting to back out. She's scared and blah, 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 you know, and uh, the normal typical stuff, you know. So, I mean, I, I sat down and, and talked with them, you know. I, mean, I have I have a relationship with every one of my students. It's not just a, a money gig here, you know, so – uh, I, I do want these kids to be the best version of themselves, you know, whether it's here or whether it's with, you know, especially out there in the real world. But as far as the making them compete, once I plant the seed, you know, of them kind of believing in themselves and believing that, you know, they even stand a, a, a chance, not even like they guaranteed to win, but even they, you know, let's, let's test it. Let's see what you made of, you know what I mean? Once I plant that, uh, it, they, they take off on their own then, you know, I don't even really have to push them then, you know. It's that growth mentality, kind of hoping to live up to the potential that you create or that you show them is possible, right? Well, yeah, and there is levels to it all because, you know, like with my, my white belts and even to the yellow belts and stuff like that and junior yellow belts, uh, you know, I'm, I'm hard on them, but it's, you know, as you get up into intermediates and advanced ranks, you know, the crazier side of me comes out, you know what I mean? So it's, it's step to that, you know? Yeah. They got to stick with you for them, for they, for them to see the real side of you. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. So now at the Carolina martial arts open, um, let's talk venue prizes. If you had to kind of give an overview of your thoughts of the event. Oh, the venue is always, uh, it's, it's a nice venue, you know, it's at the, the Hilton and stuff, you know, the rooms are nice, you know, uh, so many of the, this, this East coast area, you know, the North Carolina, Georgia, Virginia, South Carolina, I mean, there's even Florida, but there's, there's, there's a lot of people, you know, that we always, I mean, it's good to see all of them, but as far as, I mean, he's, he's, he's getting really, his tournament's getting really, really big. Really, it really big. Might be time to get another ballroom or something. Or yeah, he, he he used to have it in the uh, the fairgrounds. You know that was a huge place. You know, but uh, we'll we'll see what he does. But he he is definitely growing the TCT. You know, um, and of course, like his his prizes and all that stuff. You know, he's he's always done top notch with his hit. Like every you know person that plays, they get plaques. I mean, big plaques too. It's, it's not the little plaque, you know. So, uh, I mean, so he, he instead of you know, just like the medals, you know. I mean, so yeah, I think like just out of my household, I think we walked out of there with like probably close to twenty-five plaques. What do you do just with all of, of them? <laughs> I don't know, right? <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Because <laughs> uh, just Emma and Tyson alone, they do seven divisions each. Mm -hmm. You know, so I mean, and then you know, Tyson won the Grams, you know, stuff like that. So that those two are fifteen plaques by themselves, you know. So. Okay, all right, yeah. I mean, the the medals are nice and they create a very good backdrop for Zoom interviews and such. But the different yeah. ones are, are nice as well too. Um, great. Okay, so you're going back to training. What about you personally? I know you won, but any lessons that you got to take from competing at this event, moving forward for Battle of Atlanta. Oh, yeah, most, most, most definitely, you know, um, like I said, I didn't really, I kind of retired beginning of last year. I, I fought twice since then. I fought, uh, no, I fought three times since then. Since January of last year, I fought three times. And, you know, uh, one was at the U.S. Open last year. Mm -hmm. my, my son wanted to see daddy fight one more time type thing. You know, he gave me a three-day notice, you know, so I, I did that. I finished second there, but um, then I had to fight in the TCT championship last year in November um, on the team fight thing. We won that. And then I fought in April at Phil Addison's tournament and I, I won the grands there. So then I fought this past time, which like I said, I, I kind of spurred the moment, you know, done it, you know, uh, lesson learned. <laughs> I ain't as young as I used to be. I, I'm still walking around like I'm 80 years old right now because I feel like I've been hit by a Mack truck. You know, I thought yesterday was going to be the bad day, but today is worse than that. You know? yeah. um, it's kind always of like up. not the day right after, but the day oh. after the day after. 
Yeah, I, so Sunday, uh, I, I stayed moving. Everything went too bad. Coming home, you know, yesterday, I had to be back in the gym yesterday. I, I hurt my wrist, you know, mm-hmm. uh, in the fights, you know. Um, so, so funny, funny story in my fight, uh, in one of my daytime fights, uh, I, I ended up hurting my wrist in one, in one of my earlier fights. So and I was up like five to one. You know, mm-hmm. so I kind of, I was just like, oh man, I can't, you know, I can't punch, you know, so I'm going to try to just, you know, uh, run the clock a little bit, you know. Um, well, I, I ended up playing around and the guy ended up coming back and tying it up. Oh no. You know? Yeah. And um, so my wife calls time out, asks her, she calls time out, you know, and I go over there and I kneel down to her. She's like, what are you doing? I said, I, I banged my wrist up pretty bad. You know, I, I said, it's, is is hurting really bad so that's why i ain't punching she said i don't care you punch there's 24 seconds left you punch you know and i was like yes ma'am you know so i go back out there and it was five to five and i literally uh you know after the last 30 seconds of your fight you know the clock stops every time you score you know and i literally scored like five uh five blitzes you know in six seconds mm. you know but, um so I, I ended up spreading the guy in that last 24 seconds, you know. And then Ashley, Ashley looks at you and was like, I told you so. That's why, hey, that's why I made a post, you know what I mean? And I was like, you know, hey, I, I needed you in that coach's seat, yep. you know. It ain't it ain't like, you know, she's she is my equal, you know, and I don't know, just, you know, her, her motivate me, you know. Mm-hmm. I don't I don't let my – I don't take no slack on my students, you know what I'm saying? She, she held me accountable too, so – I, I needed that because I probably wouldn't let nobody else, you know, right. talk to me like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, but my wife says I got to punch you. I got to punch you. Punch. <laughs> <laughs> Great. I did see that post. It was very sweet. I liked yeah. That. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Well. All right. Um, plan on going back again next year to the Carolina Martial Arts Open for you and your team. Oh, oh of course. Like the TCT, you know, is eight. I think it's eight tournaments now. Seven tournaments, and then they have a championship. Uh, in October, um, yeah, you know, TCT is a, a a good, you know, East Coast. Uh, they're trying to grow. They're trying to get pick up more, you know, mm-hmm. tournaments, you know, further out, you know. So, but we do, we do like eighteen tournaments total a year, you know. So eight or the TCT, and then I got like ten outside either Florida or Nasca, you know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Oh, let me switch you back. I got you. Perfect. Okay. All right. Well, for anybody watching, if you didn't get to go this time, um, high regards for coming from Terry Floyd. Uh, and we hope that you try it out next year uh, for the Carolina Martial Arts Open. And, you know, you're going to have to fight one of Terry's 60 kids out there. <laughs> possibly. Most definitely. Most definitely. I think we, we're probably touching every division out there. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, thank you so much for coming on to the Power Chat series and everybody watching. Thank you for watching. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure. Power. Power. Okay, we are.